Hi. Uh, I'm going to play Chansonnet from Trinity College Grade 1 book for 2020. So chansonnette means little song. Stepan Rack is a Czech um, guitarist and composer uh, in his 70s now. He's composed over the years um, a number of pieces for guitar grade exams. Um, and this is a, a sort of a pretty little tune um, played over a repeated G note. Um, Play with your thumb on the open G string. So the tune. And then underneath that is this, and you put them together. Um, and you get a really pretty little piece of music. Um, so there's nothing too tricky about this really. Um, so the first eight bars are played forte, and then um, the next four bars are played with a long crescendo and then a little diminuendo, and then the, the line after that is very similar. So and it, it's quite a simple um, little line of music, bars 9, 10, 11, 12. So you can really try and um, make the most of the dynamics to bring the bring some uh, some life into the music here. So it's a super quiet. So really try and use the crescendos. Um, bar 16, that retardando, really, really, again, really slow it down. Um, and almost, um, I just interpreted it with quite a large pause before bar 17, I think I went. Um, and then really took a break before going straight back into the full tempo. Uh, full tempo and full volume of the original lines. Um, so uh, outside of that, there's only two things, and they're the same thing. Bar eight and bar twenty, you've got a crotchet rest um, in the in the bottom voice at the end. So without it, you're playing C G C, kind of ringing over each other. And if the composer's written a crotchet rest there. Um, especially in that place, then I guess he wants you to stop the sound so to make it sound like this. So put your thumb back on that G. And that's in bar eight, the end of the first section, um, and then the, the very last bar. Um, there are other quaver rests in that lower voice, but they're not as important, I don't think, as the as the full crotchet rests, um, and also, and there's a, a full crotchet rest in bar four in the lower voice, but because it's the G string is quite high, it's not really going to be heard that much um, by the time you get there. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to worry too much about the quaver rests um, or that particular crotchet rest in the lower voice. Also there are many um, instances where the composer is telling you to let that G keep ringing all these little loops underneath the, the quaver G tells you to let it ring. Um, 
and then there are uh, in, in the crescendo and decrescendo sections you're playing it constantly anyway. So it's just ringing all the way through there. Um, you could call it a pedal note if you wanted to use a technical term for it. Anyway, um, that's enough from me on that, so enjoy practicing it.